Welcome to Board Games Daddy. I've acquired a big collection of Zombicide 2nd Edition that I wanted to bring to the channel. So let's start with the base game. This is a, this one is already open, it's a second hand option. And I wanted to make sure on camera with you guys that uh, everything's okay. So here we go. So the second edition comes to an upgraded version of the famous game, Zombie Sides which I'm very eager to play here at home with the kids. I love, I like to watch series like Walking Dead, so every game that you um, bash uh, mindless zombies, it's, it's fun for me. Especially if it puts you in, in a dangerous place and you need to run away or survive. So you can play it up to six. I want to play the kids, but uh, I don't know if it's because of the theme or not. It's recommended on the four uh, plus plus 14 and in the cupboard so this is a big box look at the uh, the size of the box it's already it's almost like one hand and the art is it's not not that serious though it's it looks like it's, it's a dangerous place but the characters look like very silly or um, cartoony and in the box you have an idea you'll get in terms of characters. So you get the Tiger Sam, which is the hunter, Amy, the god lady, they, all of them have their own coats, Doug, the office guy, two Uzi machine guns, and he's, I mean, he's holding a pack with lots of things. Lily the Iron Girl, Iron Girl because she is like she lives on the street and she needs to survive for herself, so it's a tough, tough kid. Come on, you talk like an adult, so a girl that looks like an adult inside, probably she has a rough life. I hear that she's part now moving inside. And the crazy Nad, so this guy looks like the apocalypse guy. I warn everyone that the zombie apocalypse will happen. So this guy had a bunker and he prepared himself for all this. I assume. Ostara, the curious. That's a strange character. She is wearing a big, big coat for the winter. Some of them are very well dressed, some of them have everything showing, like Wanda, the waitress. Odin, the seeker. Then, uh, oh man, everything is coming out of the box, we'll get that. And, oops! And then, zombies, the fat ones, the fatty, the runners, the walkers, and the abomination. So I'm recognizing this, uh, these monsters from the other zombie side versions. Should be the one. So, four more characters. So I'm, I'm reading here 12 characters in this box. Bunny G. Another kid? Help! Yeah, lots of kids. So you have kids and, and adults, which is strange. Who wants to play with kids? Probably kids. So, yeah, all the freelancer, the, the she wolf, the she wolf, the she wolf, and Josh, the thug. I'm a thug that needs to work now with normal people to survive the zombie apocalypse. Okay. This box is filled until the very top only with base game materials and look at that rules and missions look at the size of this thing wow so you should have lots of material here lots of content to have fun for a long period so let's, let's see okay so the game components will We'll take a look into them more detail. So the yellow will be the characters, and as I'm counting 12 here, and then lots of zombies. But we'll see the minis, cards, and then well, the difference from original zombie side to the second edition. I don't have yet the original one. I'm after it. You know, I'll bring it to the channel. But there were some changes in the rules. Okay, and this. And we'll cover that. Um, do you prefer first edition or second edition? Have you ever played both? If so, please leave your comments. 
for us to know. Okay, so let's, let's see if we can cover the manual quickly. So the basics about the movement, line of sight. It's, it's an heavy manual, I'm going to show everything. Equipment, um, cards. Trick here to be closer to camera. Check to see everything. Okay, inventory. This is if you have played Zombie Side, it's always the same. The same mechanics, the same boards, typical tiles. Okay. Zombie phase. Okay, how come it works? Equipments, and then I wanted to get to the missions, the dark zones, the manual looks very good, very clean, it, it gives me, I'm, I'm, oh, I'm the missions. I, I want to read everything, it's pulling me to read everything, and then you start on section 14 with the missions, so there's a tutorial here, right, and then mission 1, each page should be a mission, mission 2, mission 3, Okay, let's see how many missions we have here. Mission 4, Mission 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 missions, okay, 12, 13, oh man, this is almost looking like Gloomhaven, 14, 15 so you can play at least with one different character for every mission with all characters 16 17 you, you, you need to repeat those 18 19 so we are, we are going to the 20 we are going to, to get to 20 20 21 okay still going 22 23 24 wow 25, 25 missions in the base game. Well, I don't know the quality of these, if it's repetitive for sure, or if there are some variety, um, which is difficult with the same the same uh, characters, right? The same zombie ministers. They could be stretching to levels that it's becoming boring. But who knows? This is not a playing a gameplay tutorial or something it's just showing you what you can find inside the box so wow man the box is something it feels very lot. but me try to find my way around this box okay so we're going to what we're really looking for we are going to tiles these are the number of tiles of the speed tiles and the, the, these images they, they are very similar always it's street like street like uh, tiles with rooms everything is dirty you know right it's a slot machine an, an, an arcade place look at this this is it's very simple for it to build the streets another one blood mess everything is messed around the ground yeah i'm going to move a bit faster there's a scooter there. I'm not seeing anything different. Worth it to stop and show you this kind of machine place. Some stairs. Yeah. Okay. That's it. Right? And then you have tokens for sounds. You have these things which is to on the tab uh, on the, the board zombies six dice some cards so you have weapons monsters of the abomination we'll see the minis patient the abomi ab abomina cup <laughs> abomina cup and the abomina wild look at the weapons it's nice that these cards are already sleeved because I, I've never Acquired sleeve cards, sleeves for this size of cards, but I think I need to for the remaining ones, remaining expansions. If you play with the 
get everything together. So items like Molotov, bag of, bag of rice, so these are items, and, and ammo, and, and you should get these, food, yeah, shotgun, sniper rifle, so you, you have the starting equipment, and this should be the one that you find in the round, Bully weapons, okay, interesting, um, <clears throat> okay, I'm just going to this is for the board, these are the counters. Um, More tiles. This is very well organized without an insert. The previous owner had everything in, in places, but I don't think this, this works, so let me see. It, I don't think this works because you see you open the box and everything goes, goes out of place. So, okay, some boxes, some containers here. Apparently, Exit, what do you want to leave the map? Some more. Oh, you can drive vehicles. You can drive police cars and you can drive convertibles. And the four characters go here. It's four characters. Markers. And the juice is here. Let's see if it's something else. No. So the juice is here. So half of the box, so more than whew, more than half of the box is this one, which is uh, the minutes. Okay. So <clears throat> by now you should have seen other zombie side games where you have the boards. Let's see how, how these boards work. So you have a scale here that you move this dial. And then you put your character here. The character that you are playing. And you have the right hand, the left hand, and put some cards here. And the game comes with six of these. We can simply play it up to six. So then in terms of characters, these were the ones we saw in the box. So we take a look. Ostara can search more than one, so it has these powers, and there's some mm, some contexts, so much rules. So Ostara, L, Tiger Sam, Amy, Matt, Bunny G, Josh, Doug, Wanda, and Dudley. Lou, the wolf, the wolf, or something. Like that. So I, and I, I don't know if it's just me, but I'm not feeling very connected with these characters. They seem to be, maybe this guy is the coolest. Because the other ones, they look like it's a kid, a teenager, teenager game. It's all teenagers, and I'm not a teenager. I'm more like this guy, almost. Not what, no. No, 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 I'm, I'm this guy. <laughs> I'm the tough guy. The bad guy. But the rest, they, it seems like they, they've made this game more a child game. With these characters, which is strange. And uh, these are the zombie cards. Patty, the walker, so there's, there's enough, there's too much repetition here. But just for you to see. Combinations. When they come, they attack, and then get some extra sleeps. So, let's go. Let's get them. Let's get them. Let's go. If I can do this without making any mistake. So, whoops. Stay open, please. Okay. Where to start? Where to start? Let's see. The lady with the chainsaw. Okay, so maybe let's see if the auto focus focus well here. I need to cover the background. So she is holding a, a chainsaw here. Looks very because of the light. It's lighter, but when you move away from the light, they are they are orange. This means are orange. Oh. 
the guy with the sniper hunting hunting rifle. So that probably that's the one I would pick to play first because it really looks like a character. An interesting character to play in the zombie apocalypse. Not the child. And, and if, you, if you look carefully you have like the six child life characters and the six adults on top. Strange, right? Want to be able to, to see all of them, right? So it's just this is the one that has the mask and the bat, and these kids can hold guns like no one, right? Guns should be heavy, but they have the strength to carry them easily. Now we have a zombie like here, the zombie one. Is this a runner or something? 